what's going on everybody welcome back Kellen here from droid life so what we got today is an app called swipe pad beta which to me is almost not really like an app it's sort of like a multitasking manager of your favorite apps now this is not just a long press on home you know to get your favorite app list this is like you create your own custom list of apps you can access it from any screen from any app at any time using swipe pad it's actually pretty ingenious it's awesome so anyway, this is not like Circle Launcher, which is an app we talked about over the weekend, which is now one of our favorites. Circle Launcher is actually a widget that's stuck on your home screen, which can only be accessed from your home screen. Okay, Swipe Pad Beta is, like I said, it's like a background task that you can access anytime, whenever you want, and it also lists you know, your favorite apps, you can customize and all that stuff. So anyway, let me just jump into the actual app and show you how to get this thing rolling. Uh, if we pull it up from the app drawer, you can see it's not necessarily an app. It doesn't pull up swipe pad. It pulls up sort of the configuration panel for swipe pad. So you can see I've got it activated. Um, this region to swipe is sort of the important part of it. So what it does is this is how you initiate the app. So I have mine set to bottom left and right corners. You can change it to bottom edge, left edge, right edge, whatever you want to do. But what that means is from the bottom right or left corner, all I have to do is touch there and swipe into the middle and it activates swipe path. And I'll show you an action in just one second, but I'm gonna leave mine on bottom left and right. Um, you can also go into advanced control and you can get rid of the icon in the status bar, which most of us that drives nuts. So feel free to uncheck that box and get out of there. I'm just gonna leave it for now. So anyway, let's jump into this and let me show you how this works. Okay, so swipe pad. So starting out at the home screen, I mean, like I said, you can do this from anywhere. We'll just start from here. So to access mine, remember it was the bottom left or right corner. So to get this going, all you do is touch there and drag into the middle. And you can see right away it pulls up all these special apps that I've decided to make my favorites. So let's say I want to go to Hootsuite and do some tweeting. Go to Hoops Hootsuite and there it is. Pulls up my Twitter my Twitter app, favorite Twitter app of all time, which is Hootsuite, and I can scroll between all the you know tweets, all that good stuff, okay? So from Hootsuite, then let's say I wanna go to Maps. So I just swipe up and drop on Maps, and it pulls up Maps. Let's say I wanna to go to the market and download a new app to go along with SwipePad. I can do that, because I've set that. There's Google Reader, I got my Gmail, app to QR code, because I use that all the time. I can pull up Trillion, I can pull up Foursquare. I can pull up Astro, you know, whatever you set in there. And like I said, you can set up tasks too. It doesn't have to just be apps. So if you want to change something, all you do is swipe in here and then you just hover over that for a second until it turns orange and then let it go. And then it lets you choose. So I can go with applications. I can go with shortcuts. You've seen menus like this before in like Launcher Pro, things like that, where you can adjust, you know, applications. Anyway, I got a giant list of apps so that could take a minute here. Let's go baby load up. As Astro is spamming ads in the background. So there we go. So then it pulls up, you know, your whole app list. And let's say I want to use, how about my camera? So now camera should be set as that top one up there. And sure enough, it is. I can launch that. Should pull up my camera. And there we go. And then from our camera, I wonder if we can still use this. Yeah, it doesn't look like it likes swipe pad. Oh yeah, sure it does. Just switch to landscape on me. So let's go back to, let's go to Dolphin. And there's Droid Life. So you can see it allows you to access your favorite apps and you can set up to 12 and you can set whatever you want in there and it'll let you access those from anywhere. So pretty neat little app. Um, I like the idea that you can change it to whichever side you want to swipe from to activate it. I like this bottom corner option that it sort of defaults to. You can see it's pretty fast. Like I'm just doing a quick swipe up and, I've, and I can choose, you know, whatever app I want to. So you can see it's fast. It's not, you know, like a slow, it's not lagging my phone or anything like that. So I can get back to my home screens. My phone's running just fine. So anyway, swipe pad beta, highly recommend it. Obviously I'm still recommending circle launcher because when you're you know, at your home screen, it's just a nice little touch on there. But if you're in anything else, this swipe pad is quite the, uh, quite the addition to a great lineup of apps we've been featuring lately. So anyway, checks out the blog. We'll have more QR codes, links to download it, all that good stuff. We're Droid Life. Peace.